Hey, welcome to Mary Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Thank you, and welcome to the new subscribers. I certainly do appreciate it. I want to read you some numbers off of a recent poll taken as of uh, January 6th and discussed on TV, and uh, the numbers are revealed. And this should give you every reason why, A, glad you're a prepper because you've stocked up on food, B, you should become a prepper to stock up on food. And this is from the uh, CBS News YouGov poll. 71% of Americans feel either scared or angry about the direction of this nation. What a surprise. Mass illegal immigration, inflation, censorship, supplying another country with materials and more with only 30% accountability of where our billions of dollars are going. The direction of whatever is all wrong. 71% of Americans either feel scared or angry about the direction of this nation. And I want you to remember something. Remember what I posted about six months ago with Klaus Schwab, the World Economic Forum. He said, get ready to deal with an angrier world. Why is that? Because people are going to find out and are finding out you've been lied to by Biden and everybody else that voted for this $1.7 trillion omnibus bill. The rhino Republicans, the Democrats, and everybody else that supports the Green New Deal, you're finding out it's a lie. How it's going to wreck the economy, how it's going to cause inflation. The great economic reset is going to make everybody poor except for those people that are in charge and they're going to skim right off the top. That's what Klaus Schwab actually was saying. Get ready to deal with an angrier world because people are facing inflation. 49% of Americans feel scared. 22% are angry. 11% are excited about the future. Topic polled, cost of goods. 70% are concerned about inflation, the cost of goods. Pessimistic. 70% are concerned slash pessimistic about the peace in our country. 56% say the economy is going to get worse, and it will. Guarantee you, you cannot be broke spending 125% of GDP meaning we can't produce enough to pay the tab. And in order to pay the tab, we have to print more money, which makes it worthless anyway. 21% of these fools say the economy is going to get better. Well, if you're looking at it like the glass is empty and all you can do is fill it up, yeah, I guess that's one way of looking at it. This is exactly why everybody is urging you to prep, store food, store food supplies so you don't have to feel angry, so you don't have to feel scared. You have the stuff you need to get by until we can get rid of this fool and his administration. Davos 2023 is coming up and Klaus Schwab says we've already got topics of discussion. The Green New Deal, how to enforce it, how to place taxes on individual for their carbon footprint. How to replace you with AI. It's all being discussed or will be discussed next week in Switzerland while John Kerry flies there in his private jet and then ragging on the rest of us people trying to get by driving our cars to and from work. He gets to fly his private jet and say, oh yeah, your carbon footprint's too much. It's a scam, folks. You should be angry about it. You should be part of this 56% that says, yeah, I'm angry. I'm concerned about the future. The 71%, three, almost three quarters of Americans say, this ain't right. Well, what are you doing about it? Are you stocking up long-term food? Are you getting ready? Are you listening to advice? Yeah. Something to think about. Let me know what you're doing about it. Tell me what you think. Thank you for liking and subscribing to Erie Shores Prepping. A little bit upset because I just got done paying a grocery bill and now we've got an electric bill that's gone up a hundred bucks a month. For whatever reason, I have no idea. We haven't changed anything. Thank you for liking and subscribing to Erie Shores Prepping.
Please refer this channel, share it. I reached a milestone, 400 subscribers. I certainly do thank you and welcome you to the channel. I'm not always this angry, I'm just truthful. Get yourself right with God. Get baptized, submerged in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Greg out.